In this video, we're going to use the scratch tool to measure the deepest point within a scratch. The first thing that we're going to do is add our scratch tool. The input for the scratch function is two closed shapes. We're going to draw the first shape around our scratch and the second shape around the scratch and some of the normal surface. You can use any of these tools in the bottom left corner to draw your scratch. I like to use the polyline or polygon tool to draw around my scratch. So I'll take that tool and outline my scratch here. Next, it says add one closed shape. We're gonna draw this one around the first shape and some of the normal surface. Ideally, we want this to be two to three times bigger than the first shape. And I'll go ahead and click Analyze. Now the output of the scratch function is showing up in the top right corner. It has a minimum, the blue dot, of 133 micron. So that's the deepest spot within my scratch. And the red dot is the tallest spot within my scratch, which is about 12 and a half micron above our normal surface. And the normal surface is defined as what's outside of the first shape, but inside of the second shape. And the scratch function will work on curved surfaces and flat surfaces automatically. What do we want to do if our scratch covers the whole length of our field of view? We want to make sure that we don't include any of our scratch in our normal surface. So in this case, I'll go ahead and add my scratch function. So I'll draw my first shape around my scratch. And I'll draw my second shape around my scratch and my normal surface. However, we don't want any of this scratch to be included in our normal surface. So what we can do is we can take the corners of the inner shape and we'll just drag them out and snap them to the outer shape. And now our scratch will not be included in the definition of our reference plane. And we can go ahead and click Analyze. And the output of about 39 micron is that blue dot here is the deepest point within our scratch. And from that, we can just generate a quick PDF report. 